Welcome back to Exceptional Talk with Dr. Clark. Today I have a special guest. This is Miss Kate Thurman. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about her, but she will definitely tell you more. I met her and I am just so excited and I want you all to be just as excited as I am. <laughs> she is an intentional best-selling author. She is a TV producer, CEO, and a founder of Faith Safe Haven Women's Ministry. And additionally, she holds a mortgage loan or originator license in all 50 states. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about Miss Kate Thurman. Well, I am married with um, five beautiful kids, um, three of whom um, were from my sister. My sister um, is deceased and two are birth, but they're all mine. <laughs> right, absolutely, absolutely. I am right. I am a writer, um, TV producer, as you stated, um, visionary and founder of Faith Safe Haven Women's Ministry. I hold a, a mortgage originator license, um, mortgage loan originator license in all 50 states. That that is what I do my everyday. <laughs> okay, all right. Sounds like you have a lot on your plate. You know, um, being a, a mother, a wife, a, a entrepreneur, as mm -hmm. women, we have to juggle a lot. We do. And sometimes it can get a little challenging. So what are some of your go-to things that you do when it becomes challenging for you? I I have a, a outlet team. I call them an outlet team. My, my, my sisters and Christ, my family. Um, Sometimes I call um, my my bestie and I said we need a prayer time. <laughs> okay. okay. Because you know it's it's a lot to um, do everything that we do um, every day with just being a wife and a mother. Just yeah. that yeah. alone. Oh my goodness. Um, and then to have all the businesses that we're we're doing and the main thing that we're focusing on right now is of course we have the TV channel that we're producing, but we are all focused on faith safe haven women's ministry okay so for that at, what we do is we just we go into prayer all of us i have different times where i call my friends and my family um they are my safe haven and it's when i'm doing all of this in order to get all this done so we have prayer time you know it's, it's sometimes they can just call me how you doing okay. <laughs> i you know it's something but well, it's i know that great. they're there for me it's great to have a support system, you know. It if, is. If we didn't have one, I don't cannot imagine, you know, how we right. do a lot of things. But tell me a little bit about Faith Safe Haven. What inspired this? And what is your vision and your goal for your organization? Well, it was inspired. I, I knew there was something I needed to be doing. I knew, I, told, I kept telling my husband, I said, I'm supposed to be doing more to help people in some kind of way. Because we started in Delicate Bliss. And um, I said, well, no, 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 that's not it. It's something else we're supposed to be doing. And so I woke up one, one morning and it was, God gave me the vision and the people. I knew that, you know, I, it's based on my life story, on my chapter, and she said yes to herself unapologetically. Anthology and my my book that's coming out, Walking in My True Divine Purpose, is based off of that okay. um, to help women who's went through sexual assault, domestic violence, um, any kind of financial restraint, mental illness, any anything of that sort that you know they grapple in silence, and that was why we wanted to do Faith Safe Haven so we can be that safe space, that safe place for women. And that's important. I mean, there is so much going on in our community. And when there is nowhere for our traumatized children and people to go, it mm -hmm. just makes it so much harder for our society as a whole. But right. when there is somewhere where they can go and they are safe, it just makes it so much better. And mm -hmm. that is such a great thing that you are doing. <laughs> I am looking forward to working alongside with you and seeing yeah. how you go with this. And 
you talked about writing a book. Mm -hmm. This was some of the inspiration for that as well. So tell me a little bit about your book. Are, are you ready yet? To you know, sometimes people want to kind of hold off, you know, and then <laughs> wait and then have this big finale going on, or you just want to give us just a little bit to give us something to look forward to. I can give you this much. I can okay. let you know that the chapter that's already produced and out and um she said yes to herself anthology that chapter you can once you read that chapter okay. you'll want my book i've got to All everything right. okay. from that chapter um it'll be more details in my book okay. and that's, are we gonna that's have a saga idea. going on here yep <laughs> okay all right there's nothing like a that look if they have as much drama as they have on television and people cannot stop watching it that that there has to be a way for us to get back to reading, you know. Yes. And one good thing about it, we have audio books now, so you can exercise and listen to it, and you can mm -hmm. be driving in your car and listen to it. <laughs> so we have so many other opportunities now that we can still get the knowledge and still get to see what it is that's going on. But I I am so proud to have met you. Uh, you have some great things going on. I'm looking forward to partnering with you and your your uh, co-producer on your TV show. So I am looking <laughs> forward to that. Thank God he is doing some awesome things right now. And is there something that you would like for the audience to know? Because we all have a message and we all have a story. And you do have one. And we're not going to get off into a lot of it because I want you <laughs> to have more of you to want more of your story and want more of you. So tonight is basically my introduction of you to, uh, to my audience and let okay. them know what a phenomenal woman you are. So uh, what's, what's your, what's your story that you're, you're not your story. I'm sorry. What's your message that you would like for, for the audience to know? I call, I am the mind motivating coach. And I'm going to tell you, just like I'm going to tell everyone when we do the empowerment luncheon, which we have one coming up December the 2nd, um, which um, you are being um, honored. But I, will em I want to empower women to know that they are not alone in this world. You don't have to suffer in silence because I did it. And suffering in silence, you in your mind, you think, oh, I'm not as good as the next person. And I want you to know that you are just as good as the next person or just, or even better. But I want you to get out there and figure out, find out your true divine purpose here. Cause I found mine through speaking up and you don't have to, you know, put your story out to the world. That's what we have Faith Safe Haven for. You can, all the information is confidential with us, but we want to encourage you and empower you, hope, you know, empower you, we want to give you hope and heal you. So that you can go out and do just like me, come from going through the things that I went through. And, you know, I am CEO and I'm fine. I have multiple businesses. I'm married to the one that I'm supposed to be with. I have beautiful kids and my relationship with Christ. My gosh, mm -hmm. I have a, a, a relationship with Christ like Noah. That's it. That that right there says it all. Once you have a, <laughs> a relationship with God and everything else just falls under it. And the best thing I just heard is that you're living your best life. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. So I want to thank you so much. Like I said, I did not want to keep you on long. Uh, I, I, I am so happy again to have met you. I'm looking forward to us doing yeah. many, many things together. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, guys, please look forward to more of Miss Kate Thurman. Uh, <laughs> she has just, she has not scratched the surface. Okay. All right. So I want to make sure you like, comment, please come in. Tell me what you think about her. And then of course, always subscribe. All right. Exceptional talk with Dr. Clark. See you. See you.